They all did plenty of bowling throughout the week, but plenty of bowling is never enough. The four winners from the 2014 Grand Casino PBA Summer Swing, plus a wild card competitor, found themselves in a stepladder final to determine who would be the second annual King of the Swing. The opening match was a rematch of the Bear Open Finals, with fifth seed and wild card Tommy Jones trying to avenge his loss to fourth seed and Bear Open champion Ronnie Russell. They were on the badger pattern this time, and the strikes were a little more plentiful, especially for Jones. Before that, perfect. One three pocket strike for Tommy Jones. Russell stayed clean, but a nine spare doesn't beat a strike. Uh. Tommy Jones moves on in his quest to become the second wildcard competitor to win the King of the Swing. Next in line was third seed and Wolf Open champion Sean Rash. The last time we saw him on television, he bowled a perfect game. He couldn't do it again, could he? No. And meanwhile, Tommy Jones knocks over four in a row. Trip seven. Pressure applied. But it wasn't enough. Rash's torrid start and decent finish left Jones behind, moving Rash into the next match with total stranger Jason Belmonte. A rematch of the Super Clash earlier this season, pen pals Sean Rash and Oklahoma Open champion Jason Belmonte told the story of strings of strikes in this contest. So it's like this. Belmo went first, downing the front four. Rash trailed when he began his string in the fourth, but by the time he threw his fifth consecutive strike, he was in the lead. Looks for the five-bagger. We'll get it! Surprise! A bowling match between two of the world's best came down to the tenth frame. Belmonte in the 10th needs a double and three to shut out Rash. Left lane. 10 pin. I'll bet you everybody in the building. And he missed the 10 pin. Including Sean Rash. Did not expect that. An uncharacteristic whiff of the 10 pin means Rash needs nominal count to oh, win. Oh no. Almost a 5 7 split. Just the seven pin standing. Sean Rash is your winner. Title match. Badger Open champion Bill O'Neill elected for Rash to start first and then made starting position inconsequential when O'Neill rolled the first five. Stays perfect. After two draining wins for Rash, an early huge deficit is not what he needed. O'Neill struck on eight of his first nine shots and claimed the well deserved King of the Swing title. And now let's give the man some money and a trophy. Mike J. Lane side, the approach is yours. Hello again, everyone. Mike J. Laneside, and this is uh, a special extra frame presentation of our King of the Swing postgame show. Time now to meet the King of the Swing, Mr. Bill O'Neill. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Mike. King William, I presume. What is your first royal proclamation? Uh, I don't know. That's a tough question, but... Uh... I don't have a proclamation. What kind of question is that, Mike? No proclamations yet. Well, think about it. I'll get, okay. I'll get it to you at the end. I don't, Let's, know, uh, I don't even know what proclamation means. You didn't watch Mr. Rogers? Who? <laughs> <laughs> Let, us, Mike. <laughs> Let us move on with more important matters. Let's welcome the chairman of the Citizen Potawatomi Nation, Mr. John Rocky Barrett, who has a very special piece of... <laughs> chairman. 
on behalf of the Citizen Potawatomi Nation and uh, this event, I really appreciate your being here, and I look forward to next year. Uh, Mr. Clark uh, and I just made the deal, so you'll be back next year. So we really look forward I like it. to it. Well, that is a fantastic announcement. We look forward to coming back. And Bill, a check for $10,000, and Chris Skillings has an extra tall King of the Swing trophy. It has been a long 10 days. You've done well, three shows plus the last one, and uh, couldn't have made it any more special. So we look forward to seeing you again next year. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I can get used to you guys having a <laughs> Very special announcement. Chairman Barrett has uh, said that we will be back here next year. That's something to look forward to. Yeah! <laughs> Well, I know one person's really excited over there. Um, yeah, first of all, thank you so much to the Grand Casino and everybody at, at Fire Lake Entertainment, the staff and, and everybody here. This has been uh, a great 10 days, uh, been nothing, nothing but helpful, everybody around here. Um, it's a great, great setup, great venue here, great venue over Fire Lake, so uh, we couldn't ask for a better place. Bill, we've caught you, Mr. V Versatility for your ability to t tackle a number of different challenges, and you saw them all here in this event. You came out on top as king of the swing. Uh, what about your game uh, enables you to go from such differences between the three patterns that we saw here? Uh, you know, I, I think I'm just I'm able to control my, my axis rotation a little bit. Um, it's something that I've been working on for a long time, and the last couple of years have, haven't been that great, uh, but I, you know, I've been working a lot on my game, and I've you know, just been trying to improve every day. And then uh, people to thank. I know that you got some people here and some people back at home. Yeah, I mean, everybody at, at Hammer and uh, Turbo, Dexter, Rolltech, everybody that's, that supports me and sponsors me along the way, um, they've been tremendous help to my career. And obviously, every, everybody at home, all my, all my family, uh, grandparents, mom and dad, uh, my wife, my son, couldn't, couldn't ask for a better family. And then as far as uh, your bowling over the last several years, uh, as you know, and everybody knows, everyone that's ever thrown a bowling ball, there's ups and downs uh, along the career path, but you're on the upswing. What's the difference? Uh, I just, I've been working hard. I, uh, you know, I, I noticed a flaw in my game about six weeks ago, and, and I was able to correct it before we got here, and it was bowling well up to this point. And, um, you know, just trying to stay mentally right. You know, it was, it was hard going through a downturn there, uh, and just, having a lot of failures, a lot of, you know, just misses and shows and, you know, way out of the cuts and just stuff I wasn't used to was, was hard mentally, but, uh, you know, I think I'm back now. Well, you earned your fifth PBA Tour title here, and uh, you are the king of the swing. Once again, congratulations. Thanks a lot, Mike. That'll wrap it up. Breaking news for fans on Extra Frame and for everyone here at the Grand Event Center. Chairman Barrett and P PBA Tour Commissioner Tom Clark have put together a package to have the Summer Swing again here next year, the second year of the Grand Casino PBA Summer Swing. We'll look forward to that in 2015. This is Mike J. Laneside. We thank everyone for watching on the Online Bowling Channel. Like watching pro bowling? Become an Extra Frame subscriber and see more bowling action than ever before. With Extra Frame, you can watch your favorite pro bowlers anytime on your computer or mobile device. Oh, oh. Look at that Extra Frame, brother! <laughs> Visit PBA.com or ExtraFrame.tv to subscribe today and don't miss another minute of the action.